And we've got a 2020 4Runner in the shop here today. And we are doing an oil change and putting the summer wheels on it. And let's just start off by, I want to say, I am not impressed at all with what you got to go through to change the oil in one of these. A few of the guys saying, oh, they're simple. Well, simple in comparison to what? Um, the oil filter is located in the bottom of that round thing right there. So you have this cap that threads up into that. And this thing fought the entire way out. It wasn't like crack it and spin it off by hand. It was like, so it felt like somebody had silicone in the threads, honestly. So I don't know if this is warped or what goes on here, but um, anyway, they got this plug here in the bottom of them that's supposed to help you. But when I, uh, when I went to loosen it off, all it wanted to do was uh, thread out. So it wasn't much good to me. So that was just the first step. The second step is you gotta take this cover off from underneath. And that has two 12 mil bolts in it. So, I'm gonna get a new filter in this, get that back in place. And uh, let's just say it wasn't very friendly trying to work in around this hole. Uh, this tool won't work on your filter. So I managed to use these, which I got about a half of a half of a half of a half of an eighth of a turn when I finally got it squeezed on there. It'll go back on easy because the plug won't back out on me when I tighten it on. But getting this off was, whew, I was here a little while, I'll be honest. So that's the first couple steps. Next step is get the oil drained from underneath the truck. Get the filter back on, and then we're going to show you how to reset the oil life inside. So we got the new filter in, and it threaded in just as hard as what it did when I took it off. And this is what my uh, forearms look like after getting the job finally done. All tore to pieces. All these nice sharp metal guards here for reaching your hands in around. You know, nice point on that right there to dig your arm all to pieces. So, real great design, Toyota. With your plastic cap and your upside down and, you know, you had all this room here underneath this hood that you could have been like BMW and put the filter up here somewhere easy to get at, but no, let's, let's bury it down there and make it out of plastic. So that's my Toyota rant. Get the oil drained out of this puppy now, and we'll be ready to fill her up and reset the oil life. Drain plug bolts are 14 mil. So we've got her drained. Now we'll get under and put this cover back on. And the next thing we'll be ready to do is reset the oil life. Still can't get over how hard that filter cap came off. All right. So we've got uh, 6.2 liters of royal purple in the engine and uh, just trying to figure out how to reset this. It's telling me to turn the ignition on. Select trip A, turn the ignition off, hold this button, turn it back on. But as you see, that's not doing anything for me. So even though this is a 2020, and that's what it calls to do, um, if I just jump back here, put it on my odometer, turn the ignition off, hold my reset, turn it on, you'll see my odometer number flash. Okay, and then we turn it off. 
I'm assuming that's the oil life reset. And I just want to mention in this that the oil life light wasn't quite on yet in this truck. Um, it got changed early. So that might be why it didn't work on trip A, but I'm assuming putting it on the odometer, um, it did do the proper reset. So one or the other, if the trip A isn't working for you, try switching it over to odometer and try it.